so I just picked up the um, the M1 MacBook Air, and uh, I've been doing a bit of comparison uh, between this one and my um, 2020 Mac Mini. And here's the thing: uh, I mean, there, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there with people comparing them. Um, there's only a handful of people who are kind of approaching it from a music production standpoint. And um, here's what I want to say. M1 is awesome. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I'm loving it. And I, dude, I have the, the freaking, not the base model, but like the second step up. So the eight, eight uh, core GPU one. And um, I'm honestly really, really quite surprised with it. Um, I, I downloaded Reaper on it. I'm about to download Logic because uh, I'm, I'm a Reaper user. And um, honestly, I've been very surprised. Uh, as of now, Universal Audio is not supported. Um, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Cause I can, if I, if I really wanted to like work on stuff on the go, I could just take the MacBook Air with me, uh, to a coffee shop, load up the same project on it. And I'm golden. Um, Waves is working on it. Uh, so far, I, uh, Isotope, some of the things are working on it. I'm actually downloading, um, my entire library of Isotope stuff from my, my mini over to the air to see how it works. And, uh, but man, I'm telling you what. Right now, uh, the M1 is is really pretty legit. Uh, if you go and you compare just benchmarks to benchmarks, obviously the airs are awesome. But uh, I, I've been trying to figure out like, okay, what's a real world application for what, uh, how, uh, you know, a new MacBook Air or one of the MacBook Pros, or even, heck, even if it's worth it to get a Pro over an Air. Um, or the 8 gig versus 16 gig. There, there's a lot uh, to this discussion and hopefully we can maybe uh, talk about it a little bit more. But right now, I, I can honestly say the M1 MacBook Air base model, huge thumbs up. If you're looking to just get it, or if you want something to just test some stuff on it, it's a pretty cost-effective entry point at a uh, $899 education or $999 standard price. Um, uh, as of now, I can only say great things about it. Um, right now, I'm actually mostly using uh, my Air for video editing. Kind of just a side thing that I'm learning. And uh, it's great. I absolutely love it. Very, very happy with it. I can't say more good things about it. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm really glad I got it. Um, the only thing that might be a little bit, a bit of a bummer is that I had to sell my iPad Pro to get it. But it is what it is. So anyway, back to updating. So I went ahead and installed the Isotope Holiday Bundle on my uh, MacBook Air and my Mac Mini in my home studio. And uh, unsurprisingly, there were some issues on the, the MacBook Air. Um, however, I was able to put it on my Mac Mini and I got some pretty sick sounds. So I figured I'd share some with y'all. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Okay, so here are a few sounds that um, I discovered um, in Isotope the other day when I installed it. Um, basically, we have Synth 1, Synth 2, Synth 3, and Synth 4, um, and I'll just kind of go by them, and you can see on the screen the, uh, the various different sounds that we're dealing with. So this is a sound called Crazy Morphing Pulse. just one of those things where it has kind of a cool vibe underneath it like it's just such a nice moving texture like I feel like this would sound really really cool with a an extra pad underneath it you can kind of see on the screen there's a bunch of like little moving Moving doohickeys and whatnot. <laughs> Next sound is called Emotional Swell. And this thing is uh, another great sound. I mean, need I say more, it sounds incredible.
This next one is called Guiding Pulse. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Sorry. And this one's another really cool sounding one. Just vibe for days. so cool. I cannot wait to put these on to main stage. Next one is one I just found uh, a few minutes ago called Interference Interference Pad. Um, let me pull it up. And sorry for all the minor chords, but just the vibe I'm feeling. <sighs> Little bit of cold play. But yeah, I mean, um, unfortunately they don't work on my, my M1 MacBook Air yet. And honestly, the moment they are working just fine, I'm gonna sing their praises because th these are some of the best synth sounds uh, I've heard in a while. And um, so yeah, hope you, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm looking forward to testing it out and kind of showing you a little bit through like my live setup now that I've kind of ditched the, the iPad and you know instead of this guy right here so yeah cannot wait to get this fully set up with main stage sounding incredible so I think I got a little ahead of myself uh, when I was installing these plugins the other day obviously you know that some plugins are going to be um, compatible with uh, Mac OS Big Sur as well as <laughs> compatible with um, with a new Apple Silicon. And so uh, what happened was I, I was installing the I Isotope plugins. Um, I have the, I got the holiday bundle, which was an incredible deal. I'll link it down below. Um, and I uploaded it to my, my MacBook Air. Everything seemed to be working just fine. And then it just didn't. So right now I'm waiting for Isotope to kind of get back not get back, but actually get their get their compatibility up to up to snuff with uh, the uh, Mac OS Big Sur. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like the video uh, and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you can be up to date on uh, all the new and up to date videos we'll be posting in the future. Thanks.